In the last video, we booted a live CD. We're in the process of changing the password on our primary system. And so uh, in this case, under you can see I have uh, mounted our primary file system under MNT. There's all, all the things. So let's go ahead and we're going to mount a couple of different things. So um, if we look inside of the dev folder slash dev, this contains a lot of information that's sort of tied directly to devices that are live that are running on this CD. For example, um, this live CD is going to need to know where SDA is under dev SDA. Uh, in order to function correctly. So this dev directory is pretty important. So we're going to mount that dev directory, but we're going to do it specifically. We're going to mount hyphen hyphen bind. We're going to bind that dev directory um, to our MNT dev. So we're going to take everything that's in dev and we're going to place it into MNT dev. We're going to do the same thing for our proc folder here. And proc contains a lot of uh, information that is very that is also current uh, for this system. So for example, we have a file called CPU info that uh, is important when we have a file called uptime. So if I were to cat, for example, CPU info, Here's all the information that we have about the processor and um, and what we're what we're dealing with there. Everything on Linux is a file, and so there's our CPU info. Um, looking in the proc file system and figuring out um, what a lot of this is uh, can be a good experience. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to mount hyphen hyphen bind. We're going to take that proc folder with all of our current hardware information as well. We're going to mount that to mount proc just like that. And we're going to do that same thing with the folder sys. Bind sys. We're going to mount that to mount sys. All right, so now we've got all of the current proc sys um, dev folders into mount dev mount sys mount proc and this is where we're going to change the root directory of the system using the ch root command now this is something to think about if you've never done it before if i cd into slash home right now before i do anything else you can see i've got that live ubuntu user and if i cd into mnt home i type ls Think about what you're going to see here. We're going to see that we have a student user. All right, so we want the this live CD to function as if the hard drive is the root file system at this point. And so we're going to go ch root mnt. Now it's going to change our root directory. So now we are at slash here. And let's see what happens when we go to slash home. LS, home student. So now we're booted into a live CD, but we have full control, the hard drive file system. So now we can just execute whatever programs we want. I can do password student, and I can change that to my password, one, two, three, for example. Something different. Um, if you're in my class, after we're done with this lab, you'll have a challenge image where you won't know the password or the user involved, and you'll have to use a live CD to, um, to walk through this process. But let's go ahead and check it out. So I've just changed the password to something different, um, and since I've done that, it is now safe. We can do anything else we want to the system. We can make any other configurations we want now. Um, and we can work on it just like we're logged in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a, a reboot. And I'm going to make sure that the live CD is no longer in the disk drive. And because we're in ch root, that didn't work. 
And so it's easy enough to change the root back to slash. And again, now if I do a slash home after ch rooting back to where, and that didn't work because it assumes that slash is our home directory. So if anybody has a solution on how I'd get back to the live CD at this point, I'd be interested because I'm kind of stuck with this new root directory that is our hard drive, and that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off with a physical power off now that I've changed the machine, and that's going to be fine. So I'll do a power off, and if you do a physical power off, you want to make sure that under storage, you want to make sure that you eject that live CD. So I'm going to remove that Ubuntu disk from the CD because I want this to now boot from that primary hard drive. So I'm going to pause the video while it boots up. And here I am back in my live, excuse me, my main system after removing the CD. I'm going to sudo su and I'm going to try that password I just created. In this case, it was my password, one, two, three, and I'm in. So there it is, root equals boot. If you're in my class, there'll be a post challenge to this. I hope you learned something and thank you for watching.